Jay, why why are you back? Why are you yeah. back? This story time is specifically going to be about how in the hell did I end up on the railroad tracks at 6 o'clock in the morning. I never even made it through to life. Make matters worse. A train coming. I'm about to see my car get smashed. I'm like, oh my gosh. Put it on the motherfucking inch all that shit. Uh, you know the vibes. Yo, who am I? I go by J. I ain't know no savage shit. Free JT, I am that bitch, but I am not your bitch. I still pop my lips, still snap. You know the vibes. It's J. What's going on, J Squad? Plum Squad, it's your girl J. You already know. Welcome back to J Vibes, where there's a whole lot of great vibes going on, big period. Today is April 1st. I have a few videos lined up for you. First thing first, I have to give you the story time because it's like well overdue. I've been meaning to do it. I'm ready to get this uh, evidence slash footage out of my phone so I can forget about that night. We can move forward with our lives. Before we get into this video, I do want to do something new for now on. I want to start like showing, not really showing, I want to start giving a subscriber shout out to a subscriber that I randomly choose from my comment section. So hopefully you are subscribed. Hopefully the video that I pulled your comment from, you liked that video. So the shout out is going to go to Aris Taylor. Arius, Arius Taylor. Yeah, the reason why I chose you because I don't know what made you go to this video, but you went way back. Like, summertime back. I definitely appreciated your comment. I did not comment back to you or like the comment because literally this is just something that I'm starting to do. I just want to say thank you so much for, first of all, you know what I'm saying, taking the time out of your time and your day. Yeah, taking the time out of your time and your day. Two comment on my video and give me those positive vibes because it's a whole lot of great vibes going on on this side now before i get into this video i just want to ask that you subscribe like comment share all of that good stuff make sure that your notification is the f on in jay why why are you back why are you back because i literally chose to step back for a little bit. I didn't know how long I was gonna step back and I didn't even, like, now that I'm back, I feel like I'm I'm back a little bit too early, but I'm, I really, I'm really ready to do videos because I want to do it, okay? That's number one. My food game code, y'all, this is gonna be a story time slash breakfast mukbang. I got a little bit of everything going on, banana yogurt, because your girl appetite is to the roof. Gotta have my Texas peak for my eggs, got some hash browns, got some cream of wheat. You probably don't know nothing about that. And I got this homemade sausage patty. Let me say my grace. Amen. And I'm drinking some milk. In my J Vibes Cup. This story time is specifically going to be about how in the hell did I end up on the railroad tracks at six o'clock in the morning. I can make this a long story or I can make this a short story. Mm, yes, Jesus. Short story, I blame it on the douce. Long story, basically, I was at home, I was drinking some douce, I wasn't gonna go nowhere, but then the turn up in my body, the switch. I hit my friend up. My friend hit me back. She was like, come through. I said, bet. I got you. But then I never really left. So then, friend hit me back up. She was like, you know what? Just pull up to this spot. Cool. So I pull up to the hookah spot. Go smoke a hookah. Took the bottle with me. Took the whole Douce bottle with me. I know this is a Henny bottle, but let's just pretend that it was a Douce bottle. The Douce bottle was here. All the way filled up there by the time i got to the hookah spot the douce was here so it went from here to here boom so i'm at the hookah spot i'm drinking i'm chilling you know i'm in a vibe i'm in a whole mood just like this fool <laughs> if you're wondering where i got my hoodie from jvibesmerch.com make sure you get your merch okay hoodies joggers you get the whole kickback set they come in heather gray or jet black okay but you can definitely get a hoodie of your choice in over 20 colors over 20 colors okay t-shirts use my code j bobs free you can get free shipping on your orders if you spend over 50 dollars back to the story on time so so now the hookah lounge closing in north carolina everything closed at two well charlotte 
I love milk. So I'm still turned up. Like I'm way turned up. So friend was like, you know what I'm saying? Slide through to the crib. Cool. Slide through to the crib. Her friend had pulled up. Her friend, so her friend so sexy. And she's an artist. I don't know if baby girl just got back in town, but baby girl was a whole vibe all night. So we all vibing all night. So the Duce was here. Now it's here. And I shared it. I, everything didn't just come from me. I shared it with about maybe two, two people. I shared it. Now, did they drink as much as me? No, obviously, right? Cause they didn't end up on the railroad track. I did. Okay. So, me you know, everybody vibing, everybody just like literally in their own zone. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna eat that. Everybody was in their own zone. Then I noticed that baby girl disappeared. Where'd she go? She in the bed, knocked out. I said, okay. Y'all don't know what time it is. I said, I'm ready to go home myself. I'm ready to go home, get in the bed. I synced it, y'all. I synced it. I seen me park the car, get out the car, walk in the house, get, get a Gatorade, come upstairs, get in the bed, turn on Netflix or Hulu, whatever wanted to watch me first. Never made it past the light. I never even made it through the light. No cap. I don't even remember. First of all, I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember going to friend's house. I don't remember. I don't remember that part. Okay? That was a problem. And then, I didn't remember how I got in the elevator to go downstairs to get in my car. That was a problem. Now, I do remember me sitting at that light because I had to wait on the light to turn green. So I'm at the light, I'm waiting on the light. The light turned green. I go, but I cut it too early. I didn't know I was on the railroad track until I was stuck on the railroad track. So I'm driving, I'm like, yeah, I'm about to go home. All of a sudden, within like 30 seconds, the car doing this. I said, oh, the car doing this. I said, oh, my gosh. I said, why is the road like this? Literally, I said, why is the road like this? And I looked to my left. And I looked to my right. And, and, I, and it just, it seemed as if I was inside of a gate. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know why. I, I'm like, I don't know why I'm inside of this gate. So I opened up the door. I said, Jadir, you're on the railroad track. Full of rocks. I'm stuck in some rocks. Okay. So I'm like, okay. You need. I'm talking to myself like you need to pull it together. I'm thinking everything gonna be cool. I put my car in reverse. Look, the car don't move, y'all. It don't go nowhere. I'm like, okay. I just hear a whole bunch of rocks just turning. So I put the car in drive. I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'll just drive out the railroad track. Like, I don't even know how far the railroad track goes until I'll be out of it, but I'll just drive forward. Put the car in drive. I said, oh my God. Oh my God. I called my friend. I said, I said, friend. I said, what's up? I said, I'm. I'm stuck on the railroad track. She said, what? I said, yeah, friend, I'm, I'm literally like right here. If you open up the door, I'm stuck on the railroad track. I don't know if friend jumped off her two-story balcony or what, but she left the door wide open to her patio and came and rescued me, y'all. And it was these other chicks that was on their balcony getting their buzz on. They seen everything. They came down to rescue me Me too. Now why I did four, was it four? It was two of them, two of them, and one of me. Why did five females think that we were gonna be able to push the car off the rocks, off the railroad tracks? No. Make matters worse. I ain't done. Mm -mm. A train coming. And the kind of railroad track that I'm on is the kind of railroad track where the trains that have passengers like live humans on the train so luckily they don't get to do too much speeding because like literally they go like 30 30 feet something like that I don't know 
they go like 30, 50 feet, maybe 100 feet, and they gotta stop again. So, the train wasn't going fast. And I'm glad the train had seen me. My friend was like, get out the car right now, a train coming. I'm thinking, y'all, I'm about to see my car get smashed. I'm like, oh my gosh. And you know what's so bad? I wasn't drunk. Like, I could obviously, like, I could walk. I wasn't slurring. My speech was great. My memory was just like, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. So, I'm thinking I'm about to watch the car get crushed. I think the lady that was, or the man, whoever was driving the train, they called the police. About five of them pull up. Five. The police called the tow man. The tow man pulled up. Somebody called the people that actually work on the, the railroad track. I don't know what those people are. Somebody called them too. I start to look around me and I notice that it's starting to be people out on the road and they staring and they looking. And I'm like, why is y'all even out? And I look at the clock and it's six o'clock in the morning. Everybody was going to work. I should have been in the bed. I, I, I should have, if I would have known the state that I was in, I would have definitely crashed on my friend's couch. But I had no idea I was there. Like, I totally thought I was fine. Like, literally. So, by this time, the Duce was here. The Duce was, was there. All of, all of that was gone within hours because I think I hit my friend up like around 10, 10 o'clock. And then I didn't pull up to the hookah spot to like mm, maybe going on 12. It closed at two. Here it is, it's o'clock in the morning. But I, I didn't feel anything. Like, I didn't feel nothing, y'all. That's how I ended up on the railroad track. My car had to get towed off the railroad track. And you know what? I'm glad that I was still in my right mind because if I wasn't, then I, just, I would've just been lost, okay? I would've been lost, I would've been in jail and some more stuff because, it, I mean, the people that work on the railroad track had a nasty attitude, you know what I'm saying? And out of all the five police officers that was out there, it was one female out there and she had a nasty attitude. Let me tell you what my not sober but I wasn't drunk self did. I'm going back and forth with the police officer because she got an attitude. I'm going back and forth with the, with the hoe, okay? And then not only that, you know, I'm walking forward and she walking towards me and my dumb ass, I, I like shoulder bumper. You know how you bump somebody and then you look back like, yeah, I, I dare you to say something. I did that. I didn't say anything, but I did all of that. I bumped her. I looked back. Y'all, I think what had happened was God sent the angel and I bumped one of his angels and they saved me from being tackled, harassed, probably raped in the jailhouse and from going to jail because I was on a whole nother level. So after the tow truck towed my car off the railroad track, he still got my car sitting on the tow truck. And I had to walk up to him. I said, sir. He said, yes, ma'am. I said, what are you doing with my car? He said, I'm, I'm about to tow it to the lot. No, you're not. I said, there's nothing wrong with my car. There's not anything hanging. It ain't, it ain't nothing missing. It ain't nothing broke. It ain't sounding funny. It ain't running funny. I said, you could put my car right back down on the road. The tow cost me like $250, no lie. $250, $270, I don't know. It was $200 and something dollars that that tow cost me. Cost me. I was livid, okay? Live it. I think life smacked me in my face after I got in the car because I just started crying. My friend's like, are you okay? I said, no. I said, I can't believe I'm going through this right now. I said, I don't know what's going on with me right now. So, um, yeah, they drove my car inside of their gate, okay? So I, I couldn't get out, okay? And um, I went upstairs and I went on the couch and I went to sleep. And when I woke up, I was pissed. I was pissed. So, moral of the story is, you guys, you know what I'm saying? Leave the bottle at home. 
that was number one leave the bottle at home number two be more aware of how much you're drinking and what you're drinking and number three if it's past three o'clock in the morning and you at somebody's house you need to stay there if you don't plan on staying there then you need to leave before three okay and if you do plan on staying there, staying there then you need to be asleep by 301 because you have already had made a, a decision if you was gonna stay or leave but very embarrassing I am not I'm I'm so embarrassed by this story I was so mad at myself like there's nobody else I could be mad at but myself I put myself on punishment okay I was telling all my like close friends I deserve my ass well like if you want to beat me right now I gave you permission because I deserved it like that was ridiculous so and I know y'all about to come for me in the comments I know you are but that's my story okay at least I learned my lesson my breakfast is beyond beyond delicious and cold you ever had a delicious cold breakfast this is what this is mm. I appreciate y'all that's that on that that's the end of that <clears throat> I'm signing out love you have a great day have a blessed day be safe wash your hands okay wash your hands okay call out the great vibes going on big period peace just focus on you baby girl <laughs> j vibes you know the vibes you know the fuck going on and i'm out this bitch you know the vibes it's jay